Hello everyone, it's the Slimy Dog here with another episode of Pokemon Order and Chaos. In the previous episode, we got to Scion City, and between episodes, I went and battled every single person here. And I'd suggest you do the same thing, because these guys are pretty good training. Uh, I did level up some of my Pokemon, and as you might notice, Nero uh, has evolved into Cerebellus, which is pretty badass this guy is a beast let me be honest um so yeah evolved him i don't think i trained any of my other pokemon but one thing that i did do was enter this this guy's house where he gives us hm5 for flash so uh yeah that's an that's an important thing to have so i suggest you um well you go there and have it get it because it seems like it's important, maybe even for the storyline. I'm not too sure whether it's a necessary HM, because it was never really necessary for me. Um, but, you know, it's it's useful. It's something to have. That's what I can say. And, uh, yeah, now that my Pokemon are all healed up, we can enter the hideout. Uh, if I recall correctly, we battled both of these guys. I'm not sure whether we battled him. Yep, we already battled you. Did we battle you? Well, I guess I guess we did. Either that or none of these guys um, are really that useful. I know for a fact that we haven't gone to this floor, so let's see. Are you are you just gonna just gonna let me just gonna let me up? Okay. I don't know whether we're supposed to be able to get up. A hint: you can open doors with cards. Uh, okay, that's a hyper potion. Hyper potion seems pretty useful. Are you going to battle me? Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to battle all these guys because, you know, battles are just useful. Look at that. Psychic is such an overpowered um, powered type, honestly. Uh, and he's not going to say anything. A hint, you need a card. Okay, well, I don't know where to get the card, but I'm assuming it has something to do later on. So, you can keep that in mind. Ooh, Goyle. Completely forgot that's a dark type, so we're going to have to switch out to uh, Shark Rush or someone else so that our attacks can actually do damage. Uh, and I think I might want to heal up a bit. So let's use that guy. And 34. That's some good utility, I guess. Found the escape rope. Escape ropes, not really too useful, but sometimes they are. Uh, I'm just checking under these to make sure there's nothing under each of these couches. Doesn't look like it. Um... And there's nothing in the trash cans either, but ooh, what's this item? Found a Max Revive. Max Revives are very useful. I'm going to use that, probably, um, because sometimes Pokemon faint in battle. So I think, I think we can battle this guy. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not really sure what that guy meant by the card. I'm still, I'm still wondering what he, he said. He's like, a hint, a card, and... I don't know. Anyways, I'm the guardian of nature. He is probably the Giovanni, the eco-terrorist leader. Um, so he's going to have a guard glide. Probably should switch out, in that case, to Shark Rush. I mean, look, that's not a good move. It's a good thing I did switch, though. Or actually... That's that's not good. Ugh. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to hope that either Shark Rush dies quickly or... Okay, he died. Um, that's not good because Garglide... Uh, I can't really take care of his Garglide. I'm gonna have to finish this guy really quickly. Okay, there we go. Um, he's gonna send out his Garglide, so I'm gonna switch out. I usually don't like cheating like this. Switching out when I see their... The enemies thing. Why did I switch out to Shark Rush there? Should've... Sh Actually, not. Garglide versus... Garglide isn't really too good either. Um, but yeah. If it if I switched out to, on to Shark Crush against the tree, that would have been bad. But I think I think we should be able to take him take him out with two crunches and there we go. We defeated the ego terrorist leader. The world is doomed because of you. Um I'm sure this is not going to be the last time we're going to meet him, so uh I would say goodbye, but I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to be the last time we see this guy. Good job, expert. You defeated the Ecos. Did I, though? Did I really? 
Okay, there is... There are no items here. What, what did that guy say about the card? A hint? You can open doors with a card key. I don't have... I don't... Why do you... Okay, I'm just gonna not bother. We can open doors with a card key. If I... Um, if I ever encounter something that has to do with a card key, I will remember to come back here. Okay. Unless... Unless there's something to do here. Nope. So yeah, that was, uh, that was this town. Uh, I don't... Nope. Nothing there. I also bought myself a ton of super repels, if that's useful. And there we go. We can now cross borders. Okay. So we have to go through that guard to cross borders. I think I'm actually going to heal up my Pokemon first. Um, just, just cause. I don't think they were healed up. Yeah, they probably weren't. Shark Rush was dead. Uh, it's a good thing they didn't lock me out here, though. I don't know whether I want to use a Super Repel. Kind of just want to see what Pokemon I can find here, though, so. I don't have time for small talk. Is that Taro? That is Taro. Nice. Um, he has a Vice Rain. I don't know what kind of Pokemon that is. Holy shit. Uh, we are going to switch out to Garglide. And hopefully Confuse Ray doesn't completely destroy us. Why? Why do I keep hurting myself? This is not good. Okay. That's nice. Cerebos is trying to learn Recover. Do I want to teach Recover? Honestly, Recover isn't that great of a move. Um, uh, not to mention that Cerebos is kind of an attacky Pokemon. Honestly, I don't use Bide though, so Recover is way better than Bide. Okay. Uh, Fantoon. Sure, why the hell not? I probably could have switched out to a... Actually, no. I shouldn't have switched out to a Psychic type. I should have used Crunch. Why am I using Wing Attack on a freaking Ghost type? God, I, I just can't think sometimes while I'm in battle. Did he say something useful? Well, I guess I'm, ha I'm gonna have to look through the, the frames there. Dang it, I lost him again. Hey, aren't you that kid in the news? The one that took down those eco terrorist fellows. Allow me to test if you are as good as you say. This looks like the other main character in this game because if you look at the uh, the cover for this game, I guess if you can call it that, uh, there's, a, there's a picture of this space marine looking guy. So, yeah, this is a space type. If I'm... Oh yeah, this is a space marine. It makes sense that he'd have space types. Uh, fun fact, I think Clown is super effective on... Or maybe not, I don't know. But that ba basically didn't do any damage. Um, I think Clown is super effective against Space or the other way around. I think Psychic is super effective against Space, actually. And uh, apparently Dark, too. So that's nice. Um, it's nice that they have new types on this in this game because, uh, you know, types, they give some variety to the game. So having new types is good. Look here, that bow you battled earlier. He's a serial killer named Atlas. Okay, th so that isn't Taro. That's Atlas. Um, I'm an agent from the organization that you should refer to as the company. So we're going, we got Atlas, we got the company. Uh, speaking of Atlas, I just watched Now You See Me, and there's a character called Atlas in that. Not sponsored. Um, you should watch that movie. It's a really nice one. Moving on, Atlas swiped your Endo ID while you were battling, and without any ID, you'll be stuck in the Borderlands. I can get you to a Mandata ID if you need to reach the west side, if you promise to take down Atlas. You know, if you run into, into him while you're in the Mandata province, cool. So I don't have an Endo Pass anymore, I believe. Um, nope, we don't have an Endo Pass. We do have a Mandata Pass, though. So, nice, we got a new enemy that we're supposed to battle. And it's another Axolot. I do not, I don't, I don't need you. What? What? Oh, okay, I guess. I guess that's the exit. <laughs> that looked like, that did not look like an exit, honestly. Um, that's like a meteorite. Two meteorites. A wall of water is crashing down with a mighty roar. I guess we can't go there then. Um... So it looks like the only place we can go is down. Fortunately, there aren't any wild Pokemon here, so that's good. I don't know whether I want to jump down that ledge, so I'm going to just see whether there's anything interesting on this side. Is there? No items? Nothing? Why, why did I just come down here then? I, I don't know. 
Okay, so down we go and we talk to this guy. Are you gonna talk to me? Nope. I, I can't I can't even walk that way. Where do I go? Oh. No, I can't oh, okay. What? How is I can't go there, but apparently I can go there. This game is broken. I give up. I don't actually. This is a pretty fun game. Come with me. So I guess we are now, if I am correct, we are in Mandata territory, or rather the borderlands. So these are the borderlands. These are the south borderlands, the north borderlands. How do we go from Scion? We just went down like a tiny bit, and all now we're all the way at the south again. Um, interesting. It's interesting that the uh, the Frontier League is in the. Uh, yeah, it's in the Endo territory. Uh, I, I'd assume it would be somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the borderlands, but apparently not. Uh, and... Yeah. Also, there are two neat-looking rivers. And there's an underwater portion. This is, this is turning out to be an interesting game. So let's heal up our Pokemon. And move on. Are you going to say anything? No, you are not. Tonga, Tonga Village. Okay. Uh, apparently we're... Oh, God. I did... I did... I did not mean to do that. Are we... We're... Okay. We're already taking on the gym. So I guess that's what we're doing in this episode. We're going to take on the gym and they have a Garglide. That is not good, especially considering I haven't trained Ball at all. What type is Ball, firstly? I haven't even looked at that. It's a fighting type. So that would be useful against Garglides. But yeah, this is a flying type gym. Actually, it would be very not useful against Garglides, especially level 38 Garglides. I am probably going to die. Yeah, I, I'm gonna die. Cerebellus, you got you got anything to say? No, no you don't, because you don't even have any good moves. Okay, so that's the end of this episode. Well, not this episode, but this, this part of the, the game. I'm not going to be battling these guys anytime soon. Uh, Bear Pudge has another item for us. That's cool. Wide it out, which means that we are back in this territory. That's cool. Uh, and we should... We should have an item here for us to take. Ornberry. Not, not the item I was looking for, but I'll take it. Why are there a bunch of asteroids here? I'm not sure. And also, all these houses are empty. Mandata is devoid of people. Never mind. We got two people here. I'm looking for the Pokemon Girdle. No, I don't need a Girdle. I want a Girdle. I, I don't need a Circlon. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, What move? What move do I use? These guys are so powerful. What? How? How do they expect us to battle? Uh, no. Okay. This isn't even fair. That's... Look at that Pokemon. It's like... Level a million. Okay. Come on. Why am I immobilized by... <sighs> there we go. Just one more solid attack and I'm good. There we go. And we defeated that guy. I am completely done. I have... The wild Pokemon are probably going to be just as powerful. Yeah, look at that. That's a level 30 Pokemon. My Pokemon aren't even level 30. And I'm dead. I'm dead. Holy crap. I don't even have a... How am I going to win this? <laughs> this guy's level... I'm level 20. 22. I didn't even move! <laughs> okay, let's run away. I can't escape, of course. Of course. Um... Of course I can't escape again. Um, so what are we gonna do? Bite. Hopefully... If I lose against a wild Pokemon, that's just embarrassing. And I'm not gonna use a max revive, because... Okay, yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Unless we can send it... Nah, I just want this game to get over. Quickly. Actually, let's try this out. Never mind. Ball, it's all up to you. Mock Punch? Okay. 
He used a one-hit KO move on us? What? Okay. On the bright side, it's only 432 uh, points. Not points, but pokey, pokey monies that we lost. How am I supposed to do this? Okay, I need a I need to look up where we're supposed to go now cuz there is no way the game expects us to uh to battle Pokémon that are this strong. That's just absurd. Okay. Yeah, there was a, there was a spot up there that I could go to, wasn't there? Okay, so that takes us to Endo, which we obviously can't go to. Um, I'm just checking whether there's anything that we can do up here, because I feel like there should be. Oh, there we go. Why, why would he... Hello, I'm the leader, and I'm required to battle you. You're not from this province. Okay. Wyverex. If you go south, you'll find a place called the Poison Swamp. This is where Wyverex makes its home. Slay the dragon, and you can challenge the gym. Considering you're from Endo. How does she know I'm from Endo? I don't I don't even have an Endo pass. I have a Mandata pass. This is not fair. I think but she would probably know the royal prince or the person who could have been. Yeah, this makes a lot more sense. Level 20s. Why would they even let that area open for us if there are level 30 Pokemon there? Though, that raises the question, should I capture a Pokemon from there? Because I think I could probably get some, uh, some good ones. Yeah, I think I will do that after this episode. Um, just, just go searching for some good Pokemon. I'm going to steal your item, yeah. Because that's what, that's just what we do. There are a lot of trainers here. Uh, I don't know whether the thing north is useful, um, but it seems like it would be super quickly going to check whether I can teach uh, this to anyone. I can't, except for Circlon. Circlon, you're, you're learning Flash. Too bad. Um, and I'm not going to go up here, but there's... Oh, we need a new badge. Well, I guess guess it's too late then. Um, so it would make sense that this area gives us the badge for Flash so we can travel up there, even though we can already travel up there without Flash. Uh, that is not open. I'm going to heal my Pokemon. Do you have anything to say? Nope. So yeah, I think I'm going to do training in those buildings after this. But uh, for now, we're gonna go south and see what see what we can do with uh, about this Wyverex problem. Okay, why is there so much open line there? I feel like a lot of parts of this game could be uh, improved greatly by just not doing stupid stuff. Sidewave, it missed again. There we go, and it didn't do any damage. Okay, um. I really want to try capturing this guy, so I'm gonna... Yeah, that was that was probably a horrible idea. I'm gonna switch out to Shark Rush. Which is also a really bad idea, because that is a Grass-type move. Is this a Grass-Space-type Pokemon? I know it's Space, for sure. I'm just not sure whether it's Grass. Okay, that was really close. But that means that this Pokeball should probably catch it to the left or to the right. Oh my god, that didn't even, that didn't even do a bit of catching this. That sucks. Okay, one last try. To the left, to the right, and nice. Caught ourselves a Gatlas snake. Gatlas snake. It's like a rattlesnake except Gattle. Gattly. Um. Yeah, let's. I want that guy in my party. And Sir Clown, you can go to the PC. Sir Clown, move. Gattle snake. Nice. And we should probably heal up our Pokemon too while we're at it. And now we can go down. Oh, uh, if I can if I can actually control my character. Uh Lower Moor is not a Pokemon that I really want. There's nothing interesting there. 
And would you look at it, it's another maze. This time with grass. Um, we got a pretty high level Pokemon there. That Gattle Snake, I think it was level 22, which is pretty good. Ah, uh, do you really... Okay, I take that back. Lormor is not a weak Pokemon. I really need to train my Shark Rush. I say as I switch out to Gargoyle. <laughs> um... Ooh, this looks like a rare Pokemon. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know why I used Wing Attack on that, because I was... I'm pretty sure I should have realized that would kill it. Okay. It said go south, and I'm not sure how south south is. Oh, is this south? Okay, I can't go there. I can't go there. Uh, oh, take two. Never mind. Probably should have used a weaker move on it. Uh, but considering the fact that we encountered two in a row, probably doesn't seem too rare. Mmm. More Gattle Snakes. Where, where do we find this guy? How do, like, actually, how do we get there? Or is that the right place? Take three, I'm gonna use a weaker move on it this time. And I'm gonna try one ball, and if it doesn't catch it... Okay, we cut it, nice. Um, it burns... It's a ground-type Pokemon, I think. So, that's cool. And now we're gonna keep that in the box and forget about it forever. I actually can't... Oh, what? How did I get out? Okay, I guess I was able to go. Yeah, into Tonga. Yes, yes I am. Um, nope. I don't care about what Pokemon you're gonna use. I'm just going to destroy them because Cerebellus is a freaking badass. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I will probably stop the episode about here. Uh, and dead. Yep. So after this battle. We are going to end it off. Uh, yeah, haircut is a really good move. Um, is it though? It has a high crit chance. Yeah. Um, so I can get rid of bite. Yeah, bite is something that I don't use too often. Um, so that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I think in the next episode we should be able to solve our, the gym leader's problem. And maybe even battle the gym. Um, but for now... Uh, for now, I think that's gonna be it. So, so yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Simon Dog signing off, and until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.